objective for today's lesson is to calculate percentile rank for a group and group data. Percentile rank is defined as the portion of scores in a distribution that a specific score is greater than or equal to. To calculate the percentile rank of a group data, we use the formula percentile of x equals number of values below x over n times 100. And here is the number of data. Let us deal with this example. The Department of Labor and Employment, or DOLE, in partnership with the Bureau of Local Employment, or BLE, revealed in their latest labor market trends release which jobs presently earn the highest salaries in the Philippines year 2019. For example number one, determine the percentile rank of computer engineer salary among the other jobs. Whenever we are solving for the percentile rank of ungrouped data, we have to make sure that the datas are arranged from least to greatest. The computer engineer salary is 49,335. So for us to be able to solve for the percentile rank of their salary, we need to use the formula percentile of x equals number of values below x over n times 100. So in this case, we have three values that is under the computer engineer salary. And we have total number of data which is 10 times 100. Simplifying, we have 30. So therefore, computer engineer salary is at 30th percentile rank. For example, number 2, find how many percent of the jobs has monthly salaries lower than 60,477. So the job having this estimated monthly salary falls under the actual risk. So for the solution, we need to again use the formula percentile of x equals number of values below x over n times 100. On this case, we have 6 values that is under x and then over 10 which is the total number of data times 100. So in this case, we have 60. So therefore, 60% of the jobs have monthly salaries lower than 60,477. We also have a formula in solving for the percentile rank of group data, which is P sub PR equals 100 over N times the quantity of P minus LB times FP over I plus CF sub P. So, PR represents the percentile rank or the answer will be a percentage. CF sub P is the cumulative frequency of all values below the critical value. P is the raw score or value for which one wants to find a percentile rank. LB is the lower boundary of the KTH percentile class. F sub P is equal to the frequency of the percentile class. N is the total frequency, and I is the size of the class interval. Now, let us deal with this example. Find how many percent of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of the... So, the class interval having the cumulative frequency of 38 falls under 36 to 40. So, for the solution, we will be applying the formula, but first... We need to identify the lower boundary, which is 35.5, P, which is 38, since this is the raw score or the value for which we want to find the percentile. We also have here the CF sub P, or the less than cumulative frequency, which is 27, frequency sub P, or the frequency of the percentile class is 11, n is 50, and i, or the class size, is 5. So, we will just substitute all the values to the formula. So, we have 100 over 50 times the quantity of 38 minus 35.5 times 11 over 5 plus 27. 
So, in pressing your calculator, you work on with the parenthesis first, which is 38 minus 35.5, and then multiply the result by 11, and then divide the result by 5, and then add the result by 27, and then multiply it by 2. So, then we have 65. So, therefore, 65% of the scores are less than the cumulative frequency of 38, while 35% of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of 38. Let us try another example. Using the previous table, if one of the students got a score of 42, what is her percentile rank? So, on this case, the score of 42 falls under the interval of 41 to 45. So, applying the formula, we need first to identify the lower boundary, which is 40.5, since we need to subtract 0.5 from the lower limit. And then P is 42. So, it is 42 because it is the value for which we want to find the percentile rank. And we also have here the CF sub P, or the less than cumulative frequency that is lower than the, the percentile class, which is 38, the frequency of the percentile class, which is 8, n is 50, and i, or the class size, is 5. So, substituting or the values of the formula, then we have 100 over 50 times the quantity of 42 minus 40.5 times 8 over 5 plus 38. So, simplifying with the use of our calculators, we have then 80.8, or it is approximately 81. So, therefore, the percentile rank of the student who got 42 is 81%. Try doing this on your own. Until our next session, thank you and enjoy learning.